Hey folks, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at the nature of technology, what exactly technology is. So by the end of this video, you're going to be able to answer what exactly technology is. I actually have a great video on this up here if you want to watch a little bit more interesting thing of what's going on with technology. But let's just break it down as basics. Everything human made is technology. No if, ands, or buts. It doesn't matter if it was made for something stupid or anything. It doesn't matter if it has any electricity in it. My shirt is technology. The roof above my head is technology. Yes, my cell phone is technology, but so is our golden poop. So we have a whole bunch of stuff that is technology. This is just plastic and paint. It's nothing special. But all that stuff is technology. And being able to understand what is technology and isn't is gonna allow us to start off with a couple of things. To begin with, we need to know what technology is and what it isn't because we're studying technology in this class. And if we don't even know what technology is, it makes it really hard to study it. We also want to take a look at how technology has changed over time because it's really important for us to understand where technology has been, where it's going, and where we're currently at with things. Because we have it pretty darn good right now, but who knows what it's going to look like in the future. Let's explore some changes and ages of technology so we can figure out exactly what's changed over time. So we're gonna take a look at the timeline of tech. If we go through and draw a quick line here, this is 200,000 BC, so the beginning of man, and this is today. We're gonna to set a little timeline in here. This is gonna be zero, uh, right where we switched from BC to AD. We're gonna take a look here at different ages and get everything set up. So from 200,000 years ago all the way to 3,000, so roughly about, let's say here, uh, this is where we have the Stone Age. And there's not, honestly, a whole lot of stuff that happens technology-wise in this entire time frame. It's pretty flat. Nothing exciting happens. Uh, we use tools, but we're pretty much fighting for survival. And things aren't going real well for humans overall. We're increasing population, but that's about it. We then discover how to use metal or start using metal uh, because we get to the Bronze Age. Uh, the Bronze Age goes all the way here until about 12, 1300. Uh, so we'll start in there, let's say 1300 BC. This is the Bronze Age, or I'm just gonna write BA. Uh, we start having a slight increase in things, but it's not like a crazy kick. It just is a very slight gradual change in what we're doing. From there, we jump into the Iron Age, which goes from about, let's say, uh, it goes to about 500 or so. Uh, and we get better tools, we get stronger tools, which again, allow us to do a little bit more work, but we're not changing this graph a whole bunch. And this is actually a little bit exaggerated. It's a lot flatter than this, but things are able to get done. We're able to start changing some things. From there, we dive into the Middle Ages. So I'm just gonna write MA for Middle Ages, and over here I'm gonna write IA for Iron Age. We have the Middle Ages, which goes to about 1300. So say right around here, and that's 1300 AD. Uh, we start getting some stuff, but again, it's nothing too big a deal, not a drastic change. And again, this is very exaggerated. It's gonna be a lot flatter than what this shows here because I messed up my line right there. Uh, from there, we go in the Middle Ages, we have the Renaissance. This is where things really start taking off. We're able to get things printed. We're able to go through and learn things and people are able to devote a whole lot of time to different things. So we start getting some more technology and you see that it starts increasing a bit more. The problem is, is that it's a short period of time. It's only 300 years that this entire age happens and we get everything from beautiful paintings to buildings that are still around today. Whereas back here, we don't have that really too much. Finally, we're gonna go into the Industrial Revolution or the IR. That goes from about 1700 in England is really where it started. And it goes all the way up until about the 1960s or so. So I'm gonna say 1960s. In this time frame, a whole bunch of stuff happens. We have airplanes, we have cars, and internal combustion. We get space flight. We actually put a man on the moon theoretically in this age. So it's really, the rate of change here is going crazy. We get a lot and a lot, a lot of information happening there during the industrial evolution. And then finally, we go into the information age, where we live today. So from about the 1960s all the way through till today and beyond is the information age. And that's where computers kind of take over. And we just go off the charts as inventions and things changing. So this is a brief timeline of technology. We have this giant chunk of place where it's the Stone Age. We get the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, the Middle Ages and then we go into the Renaissance, the Industrial Age, and then finally, the Information Age. 
So that's a brief timeline of how our technology has gone from beginning to end of humans.